Houston, you're looking at our Delta H. Uh, that's affirmative. Program alarm. It's looking good to us, over. 1202. 1202. Give us a reading on the 1202 program alarm. Host control, both auto and engine command override off. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, twin. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Jonathan Lucer, the core stage propulsion lead for the Space Launch System at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. I studied mechanical engineering at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, and while I was in school, I became involved with the school's cooperative education program uh, and started working at Marshall Space Flight Center while I was still in college. And uh, after two years in that program, I graduated and was offered a full-time job at Marshall, and I've been here ever since. NASA and Texas Instruments have teamed up to create a series of activities that integrate science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In this first activity, you will attempt to land the Eagle at Tranquility Base on the moon without running out of fuel. This was a real problem that astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin know firsthand. After that, you will look at fuel tank shapes and how that affects the fueling process. And finally, you'll put together everything that you've learned and send SLS out on its mission, EM-1, or Exploration Mission 1, all the way out past the moon. Four RS-25 rocket engines capable of producing over two million pounds of thrust will power the Space Launch System's core stage. And it takes a lot of fuel to generate that much power. And in this lesson, we'll learn how we fill up the core stage. And now, it's time for you to put mathematics to work.